Hey everyone, welcome back. Austin here with the Alaska Fish House and Burnout Fishing Excursions. And today I'm gonna to show you how to prepare limpets. These are pretty cool. Um, in our other videos, you can see Barbara talking about how you can actually eat these raw right off the beach because they don't contain any PSP. These are all over the rocks. And if you like, try it raw, pick it right off the rock, squeeze a lemon, they're absolutely fantastic. Or if you're in a survival situation. But while fishing with this, you'll see these everywhere. Today, I'm gonna to do two different preparations, but first, we're gonna clean them. The way I like to clean them is in a bowl with salted water. This is a saltwater species, so I like to clean it in the salt water. And we are going to dip them in the water, move them around just a little bit, and you'll see there's a little bit of sea lettuce on them and cleaning off some of the elements. What we have here is a piece of yellow cedar, and we've drilled a few holes in it. If you think of uh, similar to a escargot dish, this is gonna allow us to showcase our individual limpets. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic herb butter in each one of the limpets. And we're actually gonna put this right on the grill. Um, you could also do this over a campfire outside would be a lovely way to do it. To start, we'll place each limpet in the holes that we've created. The holes are gonna allow the heat to come through as well from the bottom. If we just drilled divots in this plate, we wouldn't be getting that direct heat from the grill. So it helps not only to hold them, but also to cook underneath the shell, which is gonna help release that limpet from the shell and make it very easy to eat. So I have a, a room temp garlic herb butter here, and I'm just gonna, there's no really clean way to do this. Get a little dollop of the butter on each of these guys. If you like, you can also take these out of the shell first and you can actually shuck them out like an oyster. Remove uh, any unwanted parts of the limpet and you can actually put the butter below as well. But this seems to work out really well for us. All right, so we have our grill hot and we're gonna place this piece of cedar directly on our grill. We can put a, a lid over it. In this case, it's a hotel pan and that's gonna help the cooking process, but it's also going to help almost lightly smoke the limpets where that cedar is burning from the bottom of the grill and our lid is gonna capture that smoke and it's gonna, it's gonna present a whole new flavor profile of the limpet, almost like you're out at the campfire at the beach. So these guys are ready to go. We're gonna take this off. Again, if you wanna serve this with a crusty, rustic baguette, um, whatever you like, uh, these are ready to go. So let's taste. These are wonderful. You get uh, a light smoke from the cedar, the butter, fresh herbs, garlic, just enhance these limpets so nicely. So this may not be something you, you're gonna cook at home or create this plate, but this is something that we've learned from escargot and taken away from that and done it with a real Southeast Alaskan experience and a red cedar and a simple garlic butter. We have a pan on, run medium, medium high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and a touch of butter. And we're gonna get our shallot going in there. We're gonna add our limpets. Right when we add them, we're gonna deglaze with a little bit of white wine and let those steam. If you like, you can take a pan, put it on top to steam. These are literally gonna take 30 to 45 seconds to cook. So the limpets are fully cooked. I've turned off the heat. I'm gonna add a little bit of cold butter, fresh parsley. and we're gonna emulsify that all together. I haven't seasoned these at all. They could use, uh, if you like, a pinch of salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper, but these, uh, just the, the saltiness of the ocean comes out naturally. It's a really nice way to eat these. We're gonna gently place those in. A lot of them have come out of the shell, which is totally okay. Uh, the shell's really, look cool and add to the dish, so we'll keep them in there. We're just gonna get in there. It's nice, you can actually use these shells, get some of the broth, eat it right out of the shell. 
they're wonderful. They um, they taste. It almost tastes like a escargot, a snail. It tastes like the the ocean, obviously. Um, almost a minerally briny taste as well. Something that you would get out of uh, different flavors of an oyster, even. Um, the texture is really soft and a, a slight chew on the meat of the limpet. They're, they're really wonderful. Something that you see fishing with us, pick a few off the rocks, bring them into the cook your catch, and I'll make these for you. So to see more videos of me preparing some other local Southeast Alaskan dishes, abalone, octopus, etc., visit exclusivealaska.com.